So obviously you're the you're the Legal Marketing Association 2023 international president. Yeah. What are you hoping to accomplish during your time as president? Um, the, the, what did you think? What did you think you were going to do, and what are you doing? I don't lose all my friends in the process. I do. I joked at the conference. I, I, why I'm saying these things out loud? It's like being president of a home association from hell. You're like, Gee, God. You know what? I, what I what I love about the job is the ability to offer my thoughts and hopefully coach and inspire some people to take it seriously and and make the most of it. What I don't like about the job is much like what I don't like about law firms. It's the variability, which is can be really thrilling, but it's also who's coming in hot in my inbox about why and how do I have to now adjust my mental state to help get that person to a point of, is this really the most important thing? You know, and you don't want to, you don't want to dismiss the concern, but you're also in your head going, really? Um, so that, you know, those are the parts of the job that just are inevitable. Um, but it's truly the honor of my life to get to do this. And I can't wait for December 31st. <laughs> um, but you know, I, my people have asked me what were your goals for this year? And I'm not a goal. I'm not really a goals person. I just have never been. I think the only child in me is like, let me boil the water slowly around everybody and see where we end up, which is a horrible analogy. But you know, for me, it was about empowering uh, folks to have their authentic voices at the table and to feel like they could go into their law firms with respect and say, there are other things we could be doing. Let me tell you about them and find a way to collaborate back home. Uh, that, that's been important to me from the whole time. I want our members to feel like they have a career path, that this is a profession that can be chosen. Most of us ended up legal marketers inadvertently. But it is a place we could start to say, this is something people can choose. It's a viable career path. It's it's lucrative. It's fulfilling. Um, you know, it's like wordle from hell every day. And it can be really a wonderful intellectual challenge. Um, and, you know, on the more presidential kind of things, you know, I want to see us continue to grow our membership. We we got to 4,000 last year. We saw a dip with the pandemic. I'd like to see that get, if we get to 4,200, we had ambitions around 4,500. We ain't going to get there. Uh, 4,200 would be lovely if we can reach that. We have talks with uh, United, uh, the Middle East and Africa for uh, regions there, Australia, Asia. I I don't think these things are going to be accomplished while I'm in the position and I don't care. I just want to get the ball rolling because we call ourselves the International Legal Marketing Association. And for a long time, that was Canada and America with members individually across the globe. Now we have a Europe region, which is thriving. And I'd like to see us have some purposeful, intentional outposts where people can commiserate and get together uh, as a community. Um, you know, the other thing for me is advocacy, I think, remains an important thing. We did a, a survey with ALM. Uh, that gave us some really great insight, both from the marketer's perspective and the law firm's perspective about what marketing is and what its value is. I'd like to see us use that data thoughtfully to continue to enhance the perceptive value of what we do. Um, and the, the other other piece that we're working on right now is data governance, which is not doesn't sound sexy, but you know we're a bit the shoemaker's children when it comes to our own data. We we work with data in our firms and we we know about targeting and segmentation, but we're not doing that very well for ourselves and as an association. And my colleague Rachel Shields Williams, who's been in knowledge management and is just a, a brilliant soul around this, she's leading that work. Again, will that all get accomplished this year? Probably not. But did I get some threads going while I was there that we can think a bit more intentionally about our community? And I think. You know, one other thing that's important to me is the pandemic broke down, you know, I'm going to talk about regions on one hand, but it also broke down the artificiality of I'm in the Midwest and I'm in the East, and I'm in the West. And, you know, people could attend anything they wanted, wherever they wanted. And I don't want us to lose that because I think that's great. Not everybody can afford to go to the annual conference every year. Not everybody can afford to go to our regional conferences. But if they're a member, they can attend all the Zooms they want. And why not jump? from region to region and locale to locale and get to know people around the globe who will enrich your experience. And I hope that's a, a cultural drumbeat we can continue. So.